I don't know if you're tired of seeing me build these wide body kits, but guess what? Guess what? We are not done yet. <laughs> at all yeah that's not funny there's technical difficulties at the moment with the primer but we're pushing next step here i'm waiting on it to dry that's literally what i'm waiting for now i've probably got another 15 minutes for the primer before i can start sanding it um once i'm done sanding it though i pretty much just have to uh wax everything and start making the mold I will start spraying on the tooling gel. You will notice I have orange this time. They didn't have red in stock. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up going with a white just like everybody else does when they sell panels and stuff. But I don't know, the color looks cool and you get to see, you can actually see the body lines a little bit better before paint. So that's kind of why I'm doing it that way. Um, but yeah, here we go. Um, as soon as we're done primering, or as soon as we're done sanding, we're going to start making the mold. I got to figure out what to do with the uh, gas door lid. I'm going to just cut it out of the flare because it's going to be flat right there. But I'm debating on how to tape it up. Um, I'm probably going to use a piece of paper, tape the paper to it, and uh, do it that way. Um, but uh, I gotta make sure there's no way to get tooling gel in those crevices because it'll be a pain in the ass to get out. Um, I'll probably fill the crevice a little bit with wax and that'll probably help. It's helped me before in the past. Um, but yeah, so we're getting to it. Uh, sorry for the long rant. I'm just super excited and super tired. I was up here till 1 a.m. last night. I'm feeling it. But I got two weeks before this event. Next week, my buddy's coming down from wiring specialties and he's gonna help me kind of button up the car. I'm hoping to actually have it painted before he shows up. So we could like take it for a ride once we get the harness in maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't know. Yep, let's get to it, I guess. Sorry, I just keep ranting. Oh, I could talk for days. <laughs> All right, so here I am sanding. This was a lot of tedious, tedious work, but we did get it done. The uh, the struggle was really just getting the primer to smooth out. I kept trying to do it too quickly and the primer was uh, almost just coming right off because I put it on so heavy. Um, what I ended up doing is just letting it sit overnight and then that fixed all my problems. So don't rush guys. Take your time. All right, so we got through it on the first one. Sanding was rough because I put it on thick. Um, usually I wouldn't, but because I was trying to fill in a little bit of hitting and stuff, I put it on heavy. Uh, but there we go. This is technically what the final product will look. It might be a hair wider because it'll actually be bolted on instead of a part of the panel. It'll stick out a little bit more, but that is a 10.5 inch wheel. Um, I believe it has a 22 offset plus a one inch wheel spacer. So it's got a negative offset. Um, these wheels do not clear stock body at all. Um, so I can try to find a picture, I'll post it, but I do have pictures of this before I put the flares on it and it's outrageous. Um, and these are bigger tires. So these are actually 235s instead of the 225s I was running last year. So they're even bigger. And I actually plan on going up to 245s uh, because a little bit more grip now that I got the toe and the camber all situated, I now feel more comfortable running a slightly bigger tire. Um, but I don't want to put too big of a tire because I don't need too much grip in this car because it's so heavy when it starts to slow down. Uh, and some of the tracks I go to, there's some real tight corners and there's some really fast corners. And I personally, in this car, I struggle with those a little bit, going from fast to slow and then trying to go fast again because it's like really hard to build your momentum back up in this car. I got to clutch kick it a bunch and, uh, when I have a smaller tire, 
like a 225 or something, it's much easier to pull out of those slower turns because I can just clutch, kick, clutch, kick, and it just takes off. Versus when I run the grippier tires, it almost just wants to straighten out. I gotta keep fighting it. So um, I wanna try to find the middle ground this year now that the rear suspension's dialed in properly. So we'll see. Um, but till then, let's get the other side sanded because I'm so tired of sanding. My shoulder is killing me and I wanna get this done and over with. So let's get to it. All right, so this was actually the next day. I let it sit and dry and it was so much better after that. Um, worked flawlessly to be 100% honest. So if you're gonna ever do this or something like this, if you're gonna start using primer really thick to kind of help you out, let it sit overnight. It's just the smartest thing to do because I, I finished standing like an hour. All right, so we finished up both sides. Quickly wet it with some 600 grit just to kind of polish it in a little. Next step is I cut some of the old plastic down at the bottom that was just falling apart. I'm going to retape, I'm just gonna rewrap the back half of the car, retape it off so it's completely sealed off from the car. And then uh, basically start wax and grease removing. And then we're gonna lay down the tooling gel. And then the tooling gel takes about an hour or two to set. Um, uh, you want it to just be lightly tacky don't want it to be able to like wipe off or anything. Um, so we'll get this cleaned up, get the tooling gel on, and then we'll patiently wait to start doing the fiberglass. All right, so here I re relayed the plastic down and started cutting out and completely separating the panel from the car. That was super important to me. I did around the gas door lid. I got it really close to the door, bumper, etc. cetera. But um, I just made sure it was sealed. I did a couple layers of tape in some areas too. Um, just a really, really, I was so nervous, I'll be honest. I really wanted to make sure I didn't get tooling gel or fiberglass in anything. From here, I put the wax and I started buffing it this time. Well, I just started last time. It works so well. For sure, buffing it is the way to do it. All right, so that's coat number one. Uh, I usually wait like 10 minutes or so, and then I'll put a second coat on, buff that second coat on, then tooling gel. After another 10 minutes after that goes by and it's dry. Uh, you want it to be as dry as possible because that's literally the layer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my underground layer between your car or your panel, whatever you're doing, and the mold. Without that, bad things happen. Terrible, terrible things happen. So I don't want those terrible things to happen. Not to my car, please. All right, so here we're laying down the tooling gel. I used a different brand, so it's uh, much easier to spray this time because it's a little bit thinner. And then I let it sit for about two hours. After the two hours passed, I started cutting with fiberglass mats. Pre-cutting them made it just, you know, a little bit easier to work with because, you know, you got to move kind of quick. Started laying down the resin, did two layers of uh, thin strand, and then one layer of chop strand. I don't use chop strand on the final products, but it really, really sturdies up the molds. Plus, I hate using it anyway. I get fiberglass everywhere when I use it. It's so annoying. I hate it. But it is what it is. All right. This isn't fun. <laughs> I, uh, that was stressful. It started drying really fast for some reason. I must have added too much hardener. Um, and between that, like, I don't know. This is stressing me out. These rears are stressing me out. I don't know why. It must just be because it's on the car. It's really stressing me out. I don't know why. Because, like, the last two I've done have come out so nicely. And yet, I'm stressed out. But, you know, it is what it is. So, I got two layers of the small strand um, fiberglass. And then one layer of chopped strand. Should be plenty strong. Uh, I'll probably add reinforcements later after I get it popped off. Um, 
I read a couple places where getting the mold off without supports is a little bit easier and then add the supports in after. Um, so I'll probably do that. But uh, for now, it's done. Now time to do the other side. Hopefully the other side is less stressful. We'll see. This was kind of stressful. I don't know why. I, I really don't. It really is just a stop, but oh well. Let's get to it. So same deal with this side. We're going to be laying down some resin and then two layers of thin, one layer of chop strand. Be aware that chop strand does suck. I just can't express that enough. Definitely work on getting all the, the air bubbles out and everything. That's super important, especially for the first two layers. And then here, I just didn't record any of the cutting and stuff because you guys have already seen it in my previous video. So here we did the same deal. We waxed them and then we totally gelled it. Um, literally the same exact process when you make the molds is how you're gonna make these, just backwards. Um, so here we go. And like I said, the only difference here, I don't use chop strand. So I end up using three layers of thin strand. And then I do a fourth layer around the wheel well arch. And that's just, you know, cause the wheel's right there and just make it a little bit stronger. Um, but I like the panels being a little flexible, you know? I want them to kind of bend if they get hit. I don't want them to get destroyed. And they do have a good bit of flex to it, which is what I want. All right, so it's been a couple days, but we have them. All right, they are both finished, uncut, and ready to rock. They are absolutely beautiful. They are just about perfect in every way. Couple little minor spots here, just need sanded. Um, and then we gotta cut them. So the very first thing we're gonna do, get them rough cut and I'm gonna try to cut that out as carefully as possible. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually bolt these on today. This is uh nervous, but we're gonna do it. Let's get to it. All right, so from here we're cutting the new panels. Um I'm skipping a couple steps on these because you've already seen it in the previous video. So I didn't want to just keep reiterating all the same exact tedious stuff. Um, but I still want to show some of it because there's some differences like this one getting the gas door lid was so annoying. But I actually used a uh, flap disc, uh, a, a very dull flap disc, by the way, and it cut right through it. So keep that in mind. That was super nice. So from here, I'm putting the panels on. It's the first time I'm putting all four panels on the vehicle. Um, I didn't bolt any in yet. So this was me getting just a couple self tappers in to get them all sat in place. So here's the very first rear, getting it sat on and getting some screws in it. And man, it's so weird drilling screws into the back of your Cadillac, let me tell you. Um, so from here, we're getting the driver's side on now. Um, this fender here was the very first one I ever did, and I made it really thick. I actually have to cut some off of it still on the inside, just because I made it so thick, the resin kind of puddled a little around the body line. Um, not really noticeable, but I notice it, so I don't want to deal with it. Um, I got my buddy Trevor here helping me out. He, uh, super excited. But as you can see, all the molds are finished. Next step is a little bit of bodywork and paint. Um, that'll be on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.